see a glare on my glasses, but I don't care because y'all wanted this video and I'm excited to give it to you. Here I am sitting in this new hoodie and it's funny that I'm wearing this hoodie because if I wasn't wearing this hoodie, I would be wearing Ariana Grande merch. But as you can see, I have no merch left to wear. Oh my god, new song. Ain't got no merch left to wear. Yeah. Yeah. So hi guys, I need to like maybe introduce myself, start the video, I don't know. Uh, my name is Ian, I am an Aryanator, just like a lot of you, that name is just not it. But, um, I've been a fan of Ariana Grande for a couple years, and yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm here. I have all this merch and I just want to show you because I would not regularly do this video. In fact, I thought this video was so stupid, so I've been putting it off for like two months or something. But in those two months, I've got more stuff and I just realized that it might actually be fun to do this video. I have so many pieces of Ariana Grande merch that they're not even in the frame right now. Like, they don't all fit in the frame. This is not all of it. There's like a jacket over here. There's stuff like, it's, there's stuff below me. Like, it doesn't fit in this room. And to say that I paid for most of it would be a lie. People think that I would just buy anything that's on Ariana Grande's like website. I actually hate a lot of her merch. For example, Yeah, for those items, I just feel like they're kind of lame, you know? Like, that's why I don't have them. Like, I would have bought them, but like, I don't know. Also, I forgot to mention that if you want to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, or Twitter, here's all that crap. I just want to say, be on the lookout for my channel because I'm posting more Ariana-related content. And also because uh, my sweetener backpack, if y'all follow me on Instagram, you know, said it would ship in six to eight weeks. Here we are at like week 16 or something and no information. But someone did reply on Twitter, like from the company saying that like it'll ship maybe a week from November 26th. So like early December, we'll see. I don't know. I can't trust it to be honest. But yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah. yeah. Also, I think I'm getting some merch for Christmas. I ain't um, quite sure yet. So we're gonna go from the My Everything era, and this is kind of funny. Because the one thing I have from the My Everything era is this keychain that I don't know where it is. And I've had it for a couple years. It looks like this. This keychain that I have and I don't know where it is. Um, it's not a big deal. Like, it wasn't that expensive. Here is what it looks like. It says, like, you're the best mistake I've ever made. It's just this rubber keychain from Amazon. It's super fun and fresh. Also, I think if I'm ambitious enough, I'm going to, like, try and link everything below because... Yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, I don't know where that keychain is, but I do have one other thing from the like My Everything Honeymoon Tour era. This is Ariana's cologne called Frankie, and it was made for her brother on his birthday. There's something wrapped around it, which I'll show a little bit later. Uh, it smells really nice. This is completely empty. Um, the ball just kind of like came off in like the first day that I had it. So yeah, I didn't attempt to put it back on. And I think it looks nice without. So there's Frankie. I don't know how much it costs. It's been a while, but it's linked down below. Probably. I don't know. It was like limited edition, I think. So all right, now that we're done with like the 2015, like 2016 type era, we're going to move into the 2017, like dangerous woman tour era. Now, this is where most of my merch is from. Uh, I absolutely love this merch the most because the writing done by Ariana's dancer Brian aka Kid Orange is like super cool. I'm gonna like put up some things right now. This guy Brian does like graffiti and stuff aside from being a dancer and it looks really cool and one day Ariana asked him to collaborate on merch with her and they made some dope items so I'm gonna show you the stuff that I have from the Kid Orange X DWT collection. So first up we have this jacket that originally was $300 but I got it for $150 for like a New Year's sale and uh, it's this olive green it looks terrible on camera but it's really nice in real life it's this olive green uh, Ariana Grande like tour jacket basically and it's a bomber jacket just so you know like most of the a lot of people don't know this most of like the famous people jackets like Justin Bieber Kanye West their jackets are made by this company called Alpha Industries this is the way you could tell if it's them it has like an A with like two like line things so like if it doesn't have this it's a knockoff a lot of people have the fake red tags uh, this one came off because I didn't like want it on this one but um yeah so a lot of fake tags like you could tell if you're getting a fake jacket because like the color will be off but if you have no comparison 
might be, you know, hard to tell. So what you do is you could see here that it says the alpha thing or there's a tag inside. But if you're like buying a jacket online, you can't see the tag inside. So what you could do is just see if the jacket has this. If it doesn't have this, it's not a real jacket. But yeah. So as for this jacket, it has this special detailing that's worn off a tiny, tiny bit. Uh, so this is a size L. It says Ariana Grande Dangerous Woman Tour. And uh, oh no, it's actually size M. I can read. Uh, and I'm going to be doing a try on haul at the end of like all of this. So it says Grande on the front. I don't know if you could read it, but like sideways, it says Grande with this fun writing. And then on the back, it says World Tour. And I love this jacket so much. Whether you can read it or not, it looks cool as hell. So. Then we move to my hoodies from this collection. I love the hoodies so much. I wear them almost every day. So the first hoodie I got from this collection, I also got this from uh, Urban Outfitters, which I'm kind of stressing about. So the hoodie is originally $80 on Ariana's website. You could still get it for $80. Then on Urban Outfitters website, like literally accessible to the same amount of people and like in stores, it was $60. So it's $20 cheaper. So I got it for $60. That's great, right? $60 hoodie. And then it went down to $20 on Urban Outfitters website and still said 80 on Ariana's website. And then the other day I saw this old guy in the bar and I was like, I like your hoodie. And he was like, thanks. And I was like, where'd you get it? So this guy was like, oh, I got it from Urban Outfitters surplus. Like, and I was like, oh yeah, I remember. Like I got mine from Urban Outfitters. He said, I got this for $5. Meanwhile, it's still listed on the Ariana website for 80 and I got mine for 60. Some people got theirs for 20. Like that's just crazy. So I literally think about it. I spent 60 on this. I could have bought 12 of these hoodies if I bought them like at the same time as that guy, if I knew, you know? So yeah, anyways, about this hoodie, um, there are no, just keep in mind, there are no like metal rings around like the string holes, if you know what I mean. The strings are pretty like average. They kind of broke, but I don't know. I've been wearing this a lot. Um, here it says Dangerous Woman World Tour in this fun, cool writing. And then on the back, there's a lot. So it says Ariana in like this Nirvana type font. Then it says Grande in the Brian writing font. Then it has all the places where Ariana went for tour. And then, I don't know if you can see, but it has a little ribbon on the Manchester date just because that's where the attack happened. Also on the bottom, it has a Nirvana font saying Dangerous Woman uh, World Tour. So yeah, this might, this might be one of my favorite pieces. It's a low key color, but it's a cool design. And I also forgot to say, on the hood, it has this grande. It says grande right there. It's super fun. The print is like lasting a very long time when it wears off. Like I'm not going to be disappointed. I don't know. I love this hoodie so much. I wear it all the time. And also this comes in the um, like same type of style as the jacket. So I got this in an L and it says Ariana Grande Dangerous Woman Tour. So there's this hoodie. Now on to the next hoodie. So I got this hoodie over the summer for $80 and um, I was talking about like the metal rings, this one. Okay, this one is like way better quality compared to the black one because like on the black one, there's this girl named like Sarah Harley on YouTube. She was talking about how like Ariana's merch, like like the fabric like forms into like little balls after you wash it and it kind of sucks. And that happened with the black one a lot, but like on the green one, it's super smooth. Like it's super soft, super smooth. And then on the inside, like everyone always talks about how the softness wears off. The inside, the softness like stays the same for this one. I don't know. They're literally like different manufacturers and then also this one has golden or not golden what am i saying metal um like rings around the hoodie hole so that's very nice and then the string feels higher quality and it hasn't like broken on the plastic part so yeah i got this over the summer for 80 dollars so this one's more simple but i really like it so it says dangerous woman in this cool font right here it's actually like handwriting graffiti and then on the back it says world tour and just like the other hoodie this has a middle pocket area and then and on the hood, it says grande, like th um, like so. So it says grande, yeah. Yeah. And then on the tag, tag is super cool. Uh, it's like the same type of thing. And the other one I got in an L. This one I got in a double XL because I wanted something oversized. I've never had in, like an oversized hoodie before. So this was super fun, and I love how this looks. I wear this everywhere. I wear it to sleep. I wear it in my house. I wear it outside my house. I wear it everywhere. So yeah. And I wore this all the way in Hong Kong. And and it looks great. I know I said we're in the Dangerous Woman era, but like I actually kind of went out of chronolo chron chronology. I don't really care though, so. 
deal with it. So now we're gonna move on to like the first pieces of Dangerous Woman tour merch. For me, I did not buy anything just because it wasn't it for me. I mean, look at these designs. If you have these and you like them, go you. But for me, this just wasn't it. Like this pink thing with like a box and that was expensive wherever the price is, it's on there. They, however, use a font that I love and I use a lot. So here's the first piece from... Oh yeah, I should explain. Okay, so I went to the Dangerous Woman tour on Tuesday, March 14th in 2017. So on that day, I got some VIP merch. I was not like the top of the top like package, but I was like second or third to the top. So yeah, I just got like seats, a uh, venue, like early entry, and then uh, some merch. So first we have this hat. Here is this Dangerous Woman tour hat. I don't know why it's like Dangerous Woman tour but it is and then uh it's a very nice hat it has some holes on the top for like venting and then on the back it has this like nice like metal label i have a like porsche branded hat that has that and it says 2017 on the back in the same font and this is all embroidered it's not screen printed which is super nice i uh, have like two sets because i got two tickets to the tour so i'm showing you like the perfect sets because I'm nice. So here we have two pins uh, that say uh, zero and that's like in white and it's like super nice it's the enamel type pin so a white pin with like um black writing and it's just like that and then the Ariana like bunny mask and that's super nice and then on the bottom it says um yeah that's it they have like really really nice backs to them This is a bag that I'm not gonna unfold because I don't feel like folding it again. But it says Dangerous Woman and it's just like a tote bag. And it says Tour on one side and it says uh, 2017 on like another side and then like Ariana Grande on another side. It's like a lot of words, you know? Uh, yeah, it's a nice tote bag. It's honestly not that good quality. It's really cheap. It broke. Like the strap kind of ripped after like two times of use, which was annoying. And also these took like two weeks like this and like the previous stuff with the pins and the hat. Those took um two weeks to ship after the show happened so it was just like some marketing thing or something and it was kind of annoying it was not good nor fresh but i don't know it's fun that i have it i like it also along with the bag because her lotion didn't really sell out so they gave it to us for free uh this is ari by ariana grande lotion um i'm not gonna give this away but like because like it's probably expired but like it smells nice i don't use it it smells really freaking good like oh my god it smells so good i would not use this it smells so nice. So yeah, there you go. Can you see that? Now, these things I'm not supposed to have, but I finessed and I got them. So if you were in like the... I think like second to the top or like top package of the Dangerous Woman tour like VIP thing. You would get these like passes on the day of the show and you was, you would also get like the merch behind me on the day of the show. But I was not in those like groups I guess. I don't know how that worked. But I did want one of these passes and these passes were like holographic. They were super fun and fresh. So what I did was I hopped on to like the website and I was like yo I didn't get my pass. So then she was like, oh, okay, I can fix that for you. I'll send some over, blah, blah, blah. And eventually I ended up getting two because I had two tickets to the Dangerous Woman tour. So here's this holographic pass that I finessed to get. Let me show you up close. Okay. It says Ariana Grande and then I don't know it doesn't show up great on camera but it basically like shifts between pink and black and like on camera it looks a little bit weird real life I guess it looks great on acid it looks great no on real life in real life it looks great maybe I am on acid JK don't do drugs So yeah, here it is. It comes on a black lanyard, like ooh. Yeah, the back says Dangerous Woman Tour, like as you shift it, and then it says 2017. Uh, backstage and then VIP, so yeah, that's super fun. I like this, and I got two of them, and I put like one of them on the wall. Like I took this thing off, and then I put it on the wall, and it looks fun, like, cause you open the door, and you're like on an acid trip looking at Ariana, but it's fun. Okay, so I forgot to mention one thing, because I didn't, I don't, I don't get to wear this. I would wear this if I could. But um, a while ago, my friend named Polly, who you've seen a couple times, like, we 
We made a, um, a choice to get this jacket off of AliExpress. And this website, I'm honestly a fan of. They might offer great things, but I would not buy something in the clothing area. At least, like, if it's something screen printed, because you'll see. And also, if you're going to buy something from AliExpress, size it up, like, four times. Let me show you. So this jacket, you can already hear it's not as good quality. But this jacket is meant to look like this jacket. And it actually made a little appearance in my what I got for Christmas video, like last year, I think. And it says Grande and then World Tour on the back. And yeah, it's like the green one. But the black one was like the first one that came out for $175. And it is orange on the inside. I don't know what Ariana's team is doing. Like, I don't know why this picture has gray in it. But oh my god, that voice crack though. Damn. So this says Grande World Tour. I already showed you that. And then the tag on it was like super bright red. The problem I have is that this is way too small. Like way too small. Even if it like was the right size. The one thing, I don't know if you can see, but the G, like the tip of the G is peeling off. I did not even touch it. This was the night that I got it. So I love to like look at this as like part of my collection, but like this company, Asteries or whatever, see like it doesn't have that thing I told you about earlier on the back side of the pocket. So it's not gonna be a real jacket. If you're gonna buy one of these, just save up and get like the real deal. This jacket is like super fun and fresh, maybe for like a costume or something. And they do sell like regular jackets, like non-branded. They have like Justin Bieber, Kanye, but they also have like regular jackets. Yeah, just save up because this ain't it and the sizing is gonna be wrong. So yeah, yeah. let's move into the sweetener era of merch. This first item I have is a knockoff from Amazon. It's not really like a knockoff knockoff. It's just like inspired by Ariana because she doesn't have anything like this. But it says no tears left to cry in this really pretty like teardrop. And it's gray on this black hoodie and you can get the hoodie in like different colors. Uh, you can even get like this in plain. I never saw that, but still I like how this is cause it's like kind of matches like the rainbow album cover. Uh, the back is just regular and then the strings are just like, uh, they're actually like wide strings strings and then they end like they're not like the plastic endings which is nice because that means they can't break they can't shatter the tag says port and company ring spun hoodie and this is in a size l so it's like fitted to me which is nice and my friend Haley got this for my birthday so thank you Haley. that's it for this hoodie i love this hoodie i don't wear it as much because like i've been getting a lot of new merch but i'm gonna start wearing it because i love this hoodie so much like it's so nice yeah yeah this hoodie i would definitely recommend this hoodie in print is the exact same hoodie as as Shane Dawson so Shane Dawson if you know him like the oh my god shirt like if you get that on a hoodie it'll come as the exact same hoodie as this so I would definitely recommend buying because the king of YouTube like trust his merch to be on this hoodie so yeah it's very thick and it's nice for winter which is why I haven't really been wearing it in the summer I'm in Chicago by the way I would definitely recommend this so like buy this I cannot believe these words are coming out of my mouth. This is the last piece of merch I have for you today. And I urge you not to worry because more merch stuff will be coming hopefully soon because my sweetener backpack and then also maybe some hoodies will be coming. Yep. I mean, yeah. So the latest piece of merch that I got was from Ariana's website and I was debating over getting this for a very long time. I actually hated it when it first came out. Me and my friend Polly hated this. This is a very nice sweatshirt. So let me just show you. This is the God is a Woman sweatshirt. And one of the other things that we were talking about was that like this would look so much better without this light blue on the bottom. Like it would be kind of cooler. But I don't know. I think the like light blue like kind of adds a retro vibe to it. And I like it. So yeah, on the front it says the truth, aka God is a Woman. And it's embroidered. Okay, embroidered. And then on the back, Ariana Grande. And then it has like all the old track names. So like some of these names are wrong, like raindrops. I don't think how is like an angel cried after it. I'm not actually sure. I don't remember. And then on the bottom it says uh, 2018. So, yep, that's the sweetener track list. And then the front says God is a woman. Here's the tag. I hope you can see it. It's like Ariana Grande upside down because that's her theme now. And then I got this in an L and it's uh, it's actually oversized which is kind of fun and fresh. There's my God is a woman sweatshirt. Cause if you want to keep me You gotta, 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 gotta love me Okay, pause. I need to
just show you. I cannot believe I didn't show you this. This next item that I've just forgot to do uh, is a jacket. That's probably my favorite jacket I've ever had in my life. And it's not Ariana specific, but it's like the Grande jacket in black, but like the unbranded version. So it's not Ariana, but like the reason I got it was because like Ariana like sold it and it's cheaper. It was $75 cheaper. So let me just show you that. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video or you're an Aryanator, make sure you let me know in the comments or you hit the like button because both will let me know what type of stuff you want to see in the future. Make sure to share this with other Aryanators and also click subscribe and also the notification button so you can see like when my sweetener backpack gets here, like I'm gonna probably like open that up, show y'all what's inside. Cause let's face it, the website was not clear about it. So yeah, I'm gonna show you that and also I'm gonna show you the Christmas stuff. I might do another what I got for Christmas video I might just do another Ariana merch haul video we'll see thank you so much for watching make sure to follow me on social media add me on snap even though I don't use it and make sure to tune in next time I don't have anything else to say bye